Now, come on. You don't need, you don't need to watch that. You're right. I just need to look around the room. How's Olivia? Oh, I don't know. I haven't seen her yet, but I'm sure she's uh, sick, just like everybody else. How about you? How are you feeling? Oh, I'm all right. I feel a little run down. So far. We're going to get through this. I have some good news. So Junior checked out of the Metro Court. I think I may have something to do with that. When you say you got Joe Jr. to check out of the Metro Court, did you let him go, or did you stash him in your trunk? Okay, I would never use my own car. Okay, look, I... When I saw you talking to Joe Jr. at the Metro Court, I didn't want to leave things like that. I thought we agreed to let it go. If we agreed to let go of the past, then, you know, it would help if the past wasn't staying at a hotel that you have owned. If we can get the son of a bitch to leave... So you thought I, it would help by going and threatening him again? Not, not exactly. What did you do? What did you do? I don't want to see Joe Jr. anywhere near you again. But do not worry. I didn't hurt him. Why not? What stopped you? Blow my head off, dump my body in the Pine Barrens. But just know, Sonny, when you get rid of me, say goodbye to any chance of Kate ever seeing her son again. I don't know if this is real or not. The reason I, let, I didn't let Joe Jr. leave... Because we're all gonna die, so why bother? Why would you even say that? I'm not... That's not gonna happen. What the hell? 66 Harborview Road. Now. Where's 66 Harborview Road? Quarter Max. Is that for real? I don't know. I gotta check it out. I'm gonna come with you. No, no. The fear of the witnesses is better. Sonny. I'm just kidding. Listen, go see Olivia. I'm gonna go see Manning. All right, keep me posted. Worst case scenario, if he's bluffing, I'll kill him. This is some kind of game you're playing. What's this yeah. all about, Manny? Come on in. Tell me all about it. Go to your guests. Better cough up the dough, Tracy. You owe me. Okie dokie. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, look, Johnny, there's a kid's table. Help yourself to some soup. What the hell is this about, Todd? Welcome to the first and what I hope is the last meeting of the Port Charles 1% percenters. I know nobody in today's modern world actually has a checkbook, but thank you all for bringing yours because... You all need to cough up $17,622,000 to save this town. Do you think that we have access to that kind of money? Come on. How are you thinking? I was thinking that I don't want everybody to die. Just, you know, small handful of you. Why are you asking us? Because I thought you were the only rich people in Port Charles. Why, do you know any other rich people that might want to help out? Do you understand the difference between dollars. liquid assets and... Ask I have to get that. I help you. Yes, I was wondering if you could tell me where the dead man's hand is. Bye-bye. You're Last I heard, you had them. I can't talk about this now. I'm in the middle of something. Oh, no, 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 Bane, is it? As a one percenter, I may not pay taxes, but I can spend my money however I want. And thanks to you, we're all out of options. Do you know where those cards are? Last Stop time asking. I heard, you had them. Stop asking me about the cards. Obviously, this is a matter of life so and death. So is this. Where are they? I don't understand. Why am I here? Most of my money is caught up in the hotel. I don't have $18 million liquid. Yeah, but your husband does, and you never signed those divorce papers, did you? You are still married to a very handsome, very tall, very blue-eyed billionaire. Jax isn't going to want to pay off Jerry any more than the cops do. Yeah, okay, but, all right, where I come from, there's a saying. It's easier to ask for forgiveness than for permission. <gasps> they say that in Pennsylvania, huh? Oh, yeah, they do. The Amish, they, they say the, they, all the time. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Look, you, you saved Jax's life, and then he thanks you, right? No, okay, fine, okay, you two, you brunettes, how are you going to wiggle out of this one? Um, you got the wrong idea about me, I'm a nightclub owner. Who's also the heir to a mob fortune. Who has no access to it because I'm out of the business. Right, but as soon as you get out, they suck you back in, right? Isn't that right? Isn't that yeah. how that goes? 
You? What do you do for a living? You you <laughs> you sell coffee cups, yeah. is that right? Yeah, coffee. Why don't you brew us up some cash? None of you? Oh, come on. None of you are with me? Somebody's got to be with me. The longer we wait, the, the more feverish we get, the more fatigued, the more sweaty we get, except for you. Why are you not sick? Beats me. Everybody in the house is sick, but clearly I have a system. You're gonna get this. System. And then you're gonna be one step closer to the pearly gates or one step closer to the other gates with the three-headed dog and the abandon all hope sign. Come on! We can't stand here and do nothing! We do nothing and Jerry wins! And then he laughs at us all with his funny accent while we're all dead! Okay, count me in. Really? But I, I reserve the right to try to get my money back from the son of a of bitch. Course. If you know, yeah, if it given the money, out. we take it back. That's always been part of the plan. If I didn't mention that, I'm sorry. If it doesn't work out, then you know I'm going to get right. payback, well, right? Still yeah, sunny. Right. right. Sunny with a chance of vengeance. <sighs> hey, but you're saving the whole town, right? Yeah, right. That's great. So it's kind of like It's a Wonderful Life, starring Joe Pesci. All right, I'll do it. For you. Nobody cares why you're doing it, Johnny. Todd, just so you know, this money isn't going to be exactly easy to pull together. He's right. I mean, I have no idea how I'm going to pull this off. Come on. Me too. My father holds the purse strings, and he is very sick. I can't ask him. Okay, who among you has not lied, has not stolen, who's not extorted from somebody that they said that they loved? Who? Exactly. Can we please do this before people die? Bernie. Can we liquidate? I need a I need a, a lot of cash like right now. Yeah. Tell him Tracy Quartermain's calling. No, I will not spell it. This is Carly Jacks. Um Jasper Jackson's wife. No, the divorce isn't final. That's why I'm calling. Yeah. Yeah. You know that cash that we stashed in that place next to that thing where we buried that person? I need it. No, not all of it. You only need my signature. Yeah, That's right. More like it games with me while his family suffers? My no. father may die if you don't release the funds. No, don't put it in a bag. Put it in a briefcase, you idiot. Thanks, Bernie. Keep, just keep working on it, will you? I have a bit of a, a snag with the money transfer, but I'm gonna get it. That's great. Yeah. You do know where Jimmy Hoff is buried, don't you? I'll tell you later. All right. We've done the easy part. Now we go save Port Charles. Hey, policemen and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce the rest of the band. We are Port Charles and the One Percenters, and we're here to see Jerry Jacks. Jerry's gone. What the hell does that mean? What do you think it means? He escaped. <laughs> 